There are relatively few drugs available to treat mycobacterium tuberculosis, so resistance to any drug is a concern. This video article describes a procedure for testing the antibiotic resistance of M. tuberculosis to 12 different microbial drugs simultaneously. Thus, the ability to rapidly detect antimicrobial resistance of M. tuberculosis is very important in the effort to control the increase of resistant strains. Here, to test antibiotic susceptibility, M. tuberculosis is first grown on solid or in broth media. A bacterial suspension, the inoculum, is prepared and added to a microtiter plate containing different concentrations of 12 drugs, including first-line and second-line drugs. Following incubation, the extent of growth in each well is determined either manually using a mirror box or using a semi-automated plate reader. The resulting data indicate the minimum inhibitory concentration for each drug tested and show which antibiotics the tested strain of TB is resistant to. These results aid in choosing the appropriate drug for treatment of TB. Hi, my name is Nancy Wenjanek and I'm director of the Mycobacteriology Laboratory at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. Today we're going to describe a method for doing antibiotic susceptibility testing for mycobacterium tuberculosis. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, like macrobroth dilution, is that an MIC is determined for each drug and 12 antibiotics are tested concurrently. Demonstrating the procedure will be Kurt Jude, a quality specialist in my laboratory. Working on a laboratory bench, prepare for this procedure by labeling a blood agar plate, three Middlebrook 7H10 plates, a saline tween glass bead tube.